Hi, in this video we will start the preliminary design or analytic design of the motor. In the preliminary design, the aim is the calculation of main dimensions and the main parameters of the motor. Okay, and uh, let's start. The first step of design is classification of variables. And not only for design of electrical machines, but also for every engineering design, the first step is classification of design variables. As a design engineer, you should write all of design variables on paper and classify them. Uh, there are two main categories for uh, design variables, independent variables and dependent variables. The decision variables exist in independent variables and the design objectives are in dependent variables category. Uh, under each category, we have uh, two subcategories independent variables are categorized as uh, variables uh, that are fixed fixed independent variables and the variables that are adjusted by designer and dependent variables are categorized into direct dependent and indirect dependent variables uh, the fixed uh, independent variables are motor ratings and constraints and all data that are constant during the whole design process. For example, the output power or uh, outer diameter of uh, state or lamination, DO, uh, that is a mechanical constraint in our case. So uh, these are fixed independent design variables. We don't have any freedom on fixed independent variables and we have to reach these values. We have to satisfy these values. Uh, our motor should be capable to deliver the rated power at the rated speed to the load. Okay. Our freedom in the design is on uh, this category, the independent variables that are uh, adjusted by designer. For example, the magnetic loading or the aspect ratio of motor. We should play with this uh, with the variables in this uh, category to firstly uh, satisfy the motor ratings and constraints and then satisfy the objective functions and uh, the objective functions like as minimization of the weight or the cost the uh, final cost of the motor the first category in uh, dependent variables is direct dependent. Uh, what are direct dependent uh, variables? Direct dependent variables are those variables that are calculated uh, directly by fixed independent variables. Uh, there are explicit equations for calculation of these kinds of uh, variables for example the output torque is a direct uh, dependent variable it can be calculated directly from this equation the output torque is equal the output power divided by the rated mechanical speed the uh, the motor should be capable to deliver this torque in its uh, continuous operation. So, as you can see here, we have an explicit equation and uh, 
immediately we can calculate the output torque by knowing the value of output power and mechanical speed as you can see here in this excel sheet the output torque is the output power divided by rated mechanical speed and in our case the motor should be capable to deliver this torque uh, to the load so uh, the value of uh, parameters uh, in this category are calculated immediately after setting fixed independent variables. Uh, the other category is indirect dependent variables. The indirect dependent uh, variables are those variables that are calculated through a sequence of calculations. For example, the weight of uh, rotor. Okay, kg of rotor uh, can be calculated when we know the information about uh, its material and its geometry. The objective functions of the design are defined on the variables in this category. For example, the objective function could be the weight of active parts or efficiency. Sometimes uh, we have multi-objective optimization problems. So uh, the multi-objective functions uh, defined on a number of variables in this uh, category. Okay, now uh, let's talk about the uh, design methodology. If you consider preliminary design as a multivariable function here I plot a box there I write uh, here electromagnetic design We have two input streams and two output streams. Uh, one input stream is uh, fixed uh, independent, and the other one is uh, variables, variables that are adjusted by designer and also we have two categories of dependent variables as output variables one output stream uh, for direct dependence direct dependence and the other one is for indirect dependence Okay, now uh, let's talk about each of these uh, inputs and outputs. Now, uh, assume that the objective is designing an electric motor for a desired rating while its weight is minimal. So, the objective function is the weight of uh, active parts okay let me uh, write here a uh, kg of active parts so the objective function is the weight of active parts so how uh, can we implement our optimization strategy here we know that every variable in indirect dependent category is a multivariable function of independent variables uh, that are adjusted by designer. For example, I can write weight uh, uh, of active parts 
is a function of, for example, magnetic loading, aspect ratio, upper conductor, and so on. So, as I said, every variable in this category is a multivariable function of uh, all of these variables that exist that exist in this category. So uh, we should play with these arguments to satisfy the objective function. Okay, I draw uh, another block here uh, that is uh, updating block. So the way that how to update these variables uh, determines our design strategy. So uh, for uh, optimizing uh, this objective function, okay, we need to update these design variables that are in uh, this category and repeat the electromagnetic design. So uh, these variables are fixed. We don't have any freedom on these variables. And uh, these variables are also immediately calculated considering these values. We don't have any freedom on these values. So uh, only uh, we should play with uh, the values of variables in this category to satisfy the uh, objective function. Uh, so this block diagram uh, shows the design uh, methodology. Okay? Uh, this function uh, looks complex, right? because it has many arguments. But as you know, we can use a sensitivity analysis tool. However, the weight of active parts is a function of all variables that are adjusted by a designer in its mathematical form. But we know that this function is more sensitive to some of them and less sensitive to the others. So we can simplify this uh, function. Uh, for example, uh, the weight of active parts is a function of magnetic loading and ampere loading, but uh, is not a function of number of parallel passes uh, in the winding, is not a function of number of parallel passes in the winding. So uh, we can only consider uh, those variables uh, in the uh, input of this function that this uh, variable is sensitive to uh, them. Let's uh, have an example. Uh, as you can see here in Excel file, uh, let's do a sensitivity analysis. I want to investigate that, how the weight of active part uh, changed uh, when I change the value of electrical loading. So in sensitivity analysis sheet, I set the cell reference of design variable equal to B12 uh, and the objective is the weight of active parts. The cell reference of weight of active parts is L42, L42 and I uh, vary the value of electrical loading from 25 kilo ampere per meter to 45 kilo ampere per meter and I run sensitivity analysis and as you can see here when I increase the ampere loading the weight of active parts uh, decreases so uh, yes uh, this function the weight of active parts is a 
functional ampere conductor or electrical uh, loading. I will explain this in details in the next uh, videos. Uh, this flowchart shows the design steps. In this course, we will use three software, the ANSYS Maxwell software for finite element analysis and finite element calculations, and the Excel software for analytic design, sensitivity analysis, and the MATLAB software for derivation of some curves and some plots some motor characteristics like as torque speed curve sometimes uh, during the design we need to write some short codes short m files in matlab to drive some motor characteristics okay like as uh, torque speed curve okay and uh, let's conclude this video in this video we have talked about uh, the classification of design uh, variables, design methodology, and uh, then the design uh, workflow here. And in the next videos, we will use these concepts to design our objective motor. Uh, okay, uh, thanks for watching and let's continue in the next video.